So I really love the look of a garland hanging above a doorway. And I went to the store to purchase the pre-lit garlands and noticed that they were quite expensive. So instead of purchasing a pre-lit garland and decorating it, instead I created my own. Hello and welcome back. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're enjoying this year's Vlogmas 2020. Okay, so let's get into these pre-lit garlands. In the past, I've gone to the store and I've looked for those pre-lit garlands knowing that I may spend about $10-$15. But for most of those garlands, they were anywhere from $20 to $30 for the kind that I really liked. So I decided to create my own pre-lit garland by using the Wonder Shop garlands that you find at Target. So these garlands are nine feet. They are $5 a piece. So one of the things that I really like about this particular garland is the fact that it still has that rough um, texture to it. So a lot of times whenever you go into the store and you look at the different garlands, many of the garlands have a very soft texture. They really aren't the type that you would want to use in order to attach ribbon and Christmas ornaments and things of that nature because the weight of it won't actually hold the decoration. This is an example of that lightweight, good texture, but again, it won't hold the ornaments in the ribbon. This is a pre-lit garland with clear lights. It was only $5 and I'm going to use this when creating my lit garland that's going to go on my fireplace. What I do like about this garland is it is like my other garland where it's lightweight, it won't hold the weight. Um, it's very thin so it won't have the fullness, but because I'm adding these lights to that heavier garland from Target, I do enjoy this variegated green color that will allow it to look more lifelike. And I feel like this variegated um, greenery around the lights will also help to mask the lights for the garland. So. Here are the materials we'll be working with. I have that thin pre-lit garland, red mesh, my heavy garland, and I have ribbon, ornament hooks, and a couple of ornaments that I'm going to place on the garland. You'll want to begin by fluffing out the garland that you're using. This is a very important step because you'll need to have that proper spacing in order to add the lights. Now I'm securing the lights to the garland using an ornament hook. Now I'm interweaving the pre-lit garland throughout the branches of that heavier garland that I purchased at Target. Now I will begin securing the mesh and the ribbon to the garland. I will do this using one of those ornament hooks like I did with the lights. So here I want to give a close up of how I am attaching the ribbons to the garland. First I begin with one of those ornament hooks. I unbend the ornament hook so that it's laid out flat. Then as I gather the ribbon and the mesh together at a section in the garland, I simply pinch the ribbon and the mesh together and then I wrap the ornament hook around the garland. This is allowing me to create the look without using glue and making a permanent decision at this moment. If I need to adjust the ribbon at any point in time, it is very easy to do so because the hook holds the ribbon in place, but it doesn't give it a permanent location, like if I had used hot glue.
Once I have finished that particular section, I do the same process for each of the other sections on the garland. So I simply gather the mesh and the ribbon together. I pinch it together and locate a spot here on my garland. After I have located the spot that I'm going to secure the ribbon and the mesh, I simply pull out that ornament hook and I attach the ribbon and the mesh to the garland. Now it's time to invade the L space and put the garland on the fireplace. And for this last step, I'm going to attach the ornaments to the garland, although it's already hanging. This allows me to make sure that I get the proper placement for each one of my decorations. And here we have the finished look. For more inexpensive design inspiration, be sure to spend your weekends with Winnie. Bye!